Have we done this video before? I feel like maybe we have. <laughs> ah, whatever. We need to pay the rent. Okay, question time. If you could only buy one gold coin and you had to buy it over and over, what would it be? Now this is a question I've been asking local coin shop owners for years and they always have the same answer. So I'm hoping I can get some crowd participation on this one and hear what you're thinking because they always say the same thing. The answer I get from every last one of them is that they stack one ounce American gold eagles, as in only one ounce American gold eagles. That's been the case every time I've asked for years now. And every once in a while, I'll hear something like Krugerrands or, or Maples as possible options. But I know the people who've mentioned them have later said they don't actually hold on to either one. So personally, I think the reason they'd mentioned them at all is that they have some to sell at the time. Now, the interesting thing here for me is that even though a coin shop owner is going to know a lot more about what sells and what holds its value than I will, I've never agreed with the idea that simply buying American Gold Eagles and nothing else makes any sense. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know already that the coin that I buy the most of is the quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin. So in that regard, I'm not too far off from their recommendation. But the coin that I have the most of right now, at least in terms of weight, is the American Gold Buffalo. And the reason I like the Buffalo is that it's both 24 karat and it's produced by the U.S. Mint. Now, if you don't want to hear the longer story about uh, why I've come to the, the, the final decisions that I have, you can check the description for a spoiler. Maybe you just searched Google, you found this video, and you just want to know if you had to purchase one gold coin, uh, what it would be. If you don't want to listen to this, hey, no problem. Just take a look at the description. But if you want to hear the reasons why I think like I do, you're going to have to stick to the end because there's a little bit of backstory here. When I started buying more than a decade ago, I preferred the gold Canadian maple leaf. And I found myself buying one ounce Canadian maple leaves. And then for fractional options, I was buying the smaller European coins like 20 francs French roosters and British sovereigns. But I've made a few real estate purchases over the years and I've sold some gold right around the time of two of those purchases. And what I found out was that the local dealers were not only stacking American Gold Eagles personally, those are the coins that they wanted to buy. And if you've watched more of my videos, you've heard me say similar things. And, and maybe you agree and maybe you don't, but the bottom line here is that if you're selling during a buying frenzy, kind of like what we're going through right now, a dealer is going to buy whatever you have to sell. You might not like the price, but a U.S. dealer will buy your roosters. And they'll pay a uh, closest spot for maples. But if you're selling in a slower time when gold isn't making big moves, the dealers are going to be a little bit more picky. And I personally, I had trouble selling my roosters in a slower cycle. The dealers didn't really want them. It had a lot to move. But during that same period of time, the dealers wanted any quarter ounce American Gold Eagles that I had. And they'd pay up to $10 over spot for them. So after selling off my roosters and my sovereigns, I decided to be more selective in the coins I was buying. And no surprise here, I've continued to buy the quarter ounce American Gold Eagles, my primary scheduled purchases. But I still haven't settled in on the one ounce American Gold Eagles as my primary coin. I've focused instead on Buffalo since they're kind of a mix between the benefit of the maples being 24 karat without the cons of being non-US coins. But again, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I like a little bit of variety in my gold coins. I do try to focus on a select few for my primary purchases though. If I had to pick a single coin without really considering the price of each, I'd pick the American Gold Buffalo. So that's to say, like, if I wanted to uh, have set a goal of three ounces per year, how would I get to it? I would personally want to get to it buying American Gold Buffaloes. And like I've said before, that, that goes against the advice of all the dealers that I've asked. Now, every dealer will also tell you that the American Gold Buffalo is a great coin good purchase. But if you look instead at what they're actually doing, that's going to tell you more about what they really think is the right one to buy. 
Now, even with all that said, I would actually consider this a pretty easy decision to make, except that the prices of gold are shooting up near $2,000 an ounce, and I'm not sure one ounce gold coins are the way to go. As you already know, American gold buffaloes only come in one ounce coins. Now, there have been sets. In 2008, there was a set with a full run of sizes, but normally they're not released. And the reason that I wonder about the one ounce gold coin size has nothing to do with being able to sell it. Because as far as I know, my local coin shop is always going to be my primary buyer. And also, as far as I know, they're always going to be buying one ounce gold coins. It's more a simple case of being able to justify paying $2,000 for each coin. And for a few different reasons, I'd rather schedule monthly purchases rather than spread them out and buy once every four months or so. So if I did consider price, which I just happened to do, I'm kind of stuck with these guys. So if we're looking at a really high spot price and $1,900 and up to me is a really high spot price, rather than that one ounce gold American Buffalo, it might make sense, it might make more sense to grab the quarter ounce American Gold Eagle, at least in my opinion. Okay, so why does this matter if we can buy whatever we feel like at the time? Well, if I had a solid answer of which coin I'd buy if I could only buy one, I would have used that as my foundation. And I wouldn't have bought roosters and sovereigns and random LNUs and ducats. And it's ducat, not, not ducat, uh, not ducat. Uh, but that, that's, that's an aside. <laughs> but whatever the coin was and however you pronounce it, I would have focused in on that one coin. And then I would have bought others only supplementally. And if you go by popularity, there's just, there's so many people saying that the one tenth ounce coins are a, a great size to buy. I hear others who say the half ounce is the perfect size to say. I think Silver Britches calls it the Goldilocks size. Florida Stacker just had a great video where he had bought a one half ounce uh, gold Canadian maple leaf and it looked fantastic. But that still wouldn't be the size coin that I would, I would choose and not, not the specific coin that I would choose. I still like that quarter ounce size and I still like coins from the U.S. Mint. <laughs> so I really only have the one option and that's the quarter ounce American Gold Eagle. So if you came to this video looking for the recommendation on that one coin to focus on, uh, I'm going to tell you it's the quarter ounce American Gold Eagle for me here in the United States. Now, if I lived in Canada, it would be the Canadian Maple Leaf. And in other regions, of course, it'd be the Britannia or the Krugerrand or the Kangaroo. But if you already have an idea, and it's different, this is where the crowd participation comes in. I would love to hear what you think uh, your answer to that question is. If you could only buy one coin, what would it be? Because I'm genuinely curious, and I'm actually thinking that maybe my next purchase will be crowdsourced. So you tell me what you think is the best buy, Give me your reasons, tell me where you live, and if we have any clear winners that are different than what I've already been thinking, I will, uh, well, I don't know that I'll guarantee that I'll grab it, but uh, I'll definitely put it at the top of my list. So let's call it good right there and give you some time to hit those comments. And as always, I hope you subscribe, hit that like button, and have a fantastic day.